Uh, I do a lot of road trips. I love road trips. Do you like road trips? Do you like getting on the road? It's fun. It's fun. I mean, it's not good for women. It's not good for women because there's never a washroom where you want it. Like when I was young, my mom used to crowd my brother and I into the car and then off we'd go. And she wouldn't even stop the car for us. Do you know what I mean? She just cracked the window open and let us hang out at like Russian acrobats. We're boys. The whole world is our toilet. Do you know what I mean? It's not important. But my mom's, my mom's not a croucher. You're never going to see my mom in the middle of a field with her underwear held out having a pee. Do you know what I'm saying? She's too much of a lady for that, is her story. What my mom likes to do is she'll sit in the door frame of the car. Has anybody ever seen anybody do that? Because I'll tell you, I did. I was still sitting in the back of it. La, 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 la. Seriously, I'm sure that's what did it to me. La, 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 la. You know what I'm saying? And then the cars on the highway, they're not stupid. They all knew what was going on. They're all honk, 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 looking good. And that's when I would tell her to come around and use the passenger side because <laughs> you don't need to see that on the highway. I don't care how fast you're driving. <laughs> oh, I was in a car accident last year. That's very exciting. Have you all been in a car accident? A lot of stuff happens when you're in a car accident. I don't know if you know this, like, for instance, the airbag goes off, which activates the OnStar. Y'all know what that is, a blue button in the ceiling. You push when you're lost or lonely or can't remember the words to a song. It's an incredibly helpful invention. Don't get me wrong, but they have got to warn you that that thing is going to go off first. You know what I mean? There should be a disclaimer on the windshield that says, this car may talk to you at any minute. Hold on to stuff. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm in the accident, the airbag goes off, and then all of a sudden I hear, your airbag has deployed. You've been in an accident. Please remain calm. Well, you know what I did? I was alone in the car. Who the hell is talking to me? I thought Jesus was coming to take me home. So now I'm sitting in a car facing the wrong way on a highway that I've just been in an accident on in a car filled with smoke and the smell of burning remain calm. I think that if they want me to remain calm, they should rethink the smell of that charge. And in this modern day of fresh sense, I think they can do it. It doesn't have to be an angry, hateful smell. I think it could be a kinder, gentler smell. Like cookies. Because then I'd be... Ah! Are there cookies? Sir, are you all right? I am. Great. Where the hell are the cookies? We're getting the jaws alive. We'll keep them the hell away from my cookies. Oh, I like cookies. You know who likes cookies? Dogs like cookies. Do we have dog owners? Dog owners. People who want to always take care of something that will never take care of itself or pay its rent. Yes, idiots. <laughs> I like dogs. I like. I don't own a dog now. Um, it didn't die or anything. I, I owned it with a partner, and we broke up, and he got custody because I said no. <laughs> I can't keep a plant alive. Chances are, a dog's gonna smell within a week. Do you understand? Know <laughs> and my partner was, you know, great with the dog. I mean, great, like to, to the point of extreme. Like we always the best foods. You know those little doggy bonbons that look like a dive of chocolates. You know, those expensive $400 each one. He'd buy those, he'd buy the holistic, human-grade, organic food. And, you know, I could suck the grease out of a paper bag left on the floor over there. He wouldn't give a crap. But this, the, but the dog had to have the best. You see the mystery of why we broke up, I can show you. And so, you know, here I am reading a bag of these cookies, the ingredients, and I'm looking at it, and it's pretty good, you know, whole grain, la, 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 organic, la, la, la. As I'm reading this, he reaches across me, grabs one, and eats it. <laughs> yes, exactly. I thought, oh my God, what the hell is wrong with you? He said, what? There's nothing wrong with this, it's all normal food. You know, anybody could eat this, it's got carob. It tastes quite nice. And I have to tell you, I thought about it for a second, and I thought, you know what? I've had worse in my mouth. I'm not gonna lie to any of you right now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I've had worse. So I thought, what the hell? I grab one of the cookies, I throw it in my mouth. It's clicking past my teeth when he says to me, ha ha, made you eat dog food. <laughs> Again, the mystery of my being single has revealed itself. And I should have known better. It's my own fault. Cause that's how we used to trick the straight boys back in high school. Ha ha, made you suck cock. I am just saying. <laughs> My brother got married last year. Had to go to a kilt fittings. You're not allowed to wear underwear with a kilt. Do y'all know that? You're not allowed to wear underwear with a kilt. 
I'll tell you what I did. I wore underwear with my kill for two reasons. At my brother's wedding, there was alcohol and stairs. Nobody needs a picture of that. Nobody needs a picture of that. I don't care who you are. And it was a windy day, too. I was afraid to move. I had no fart filter on. I'm like, oh, God. Oh, my God. I had to go to a kilt fitting. I took my mom with me. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. When I came out of the fitting room, we both cried. For totally different reasons, though. I cried because I looked like a Russian parochial schoolgirl training for shot put. My mom cried because she finally had the daughter she always wanted, so it was a win-win, I'll tell you that. <laughs>